Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have a new video. <laughs> Today's video is about the AMD 20.1.4 driver. So it's the fourth driver, fourth driver of January. Okay, people have been trashing AMD a lot because they were not releasing enough driver fixes, uh, they were not good on drivers and yet we have four driver releases, four driver releases only in a month. That's pretty good to me. I don't know if you guys know how the nomenclature, so how the, um, how the numbers work for the AMD drivers, but the 20 means that we are on the 2020 year. So the 20, the first one is the year. Point one, the one means the month. So January, one, January. And the last one means the revision number. So it's the fourth driver released in one month. Okay, and I'm doing this video just to keep you guys updated and well, it fixes some more black screens in some other games that weren't fixed before on the 20.1.3 and also fixes a really, really damn annoying bug that was occurring in Red Dead Redemption 2 while using the Vulkan API, which is those blocky textures that you see, for example, on the, on the first snow mission, the, the snow map, you see like really annoying traces, blocky textures on the snow and those blocky textures weren't uh, happening for example on the X12 so it's really a Vulcan and AMD driver um, problem and they they were fixed finally, this, this problem was fixed finally, thank god. Thank god. And well, for now it seems that games are pretty damn stable um, I have no black screens at all, I have no crashes, I had like two crashes with 20.1.3, um, three crashes, yes, three crashes, um, no blue screens, no black screens, just a simple crash, god knows why, but it is driver related, that I can assure you. With the 20.1.4, well, I, I didn't have enough time to test, but for now, for now it seems pretty stable. No black screens, once again, no blue screens, it seems stable, and those damn blocky textures on Red Dead Redemption 2 are gone. For me, it is a win-win for now. And well guys, that's all for today, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget, watch this video I made, this recent video I made of Need for Speed 2015 versus Need for Speed Payback versus Need for Speed Heat, they, we have graphic comparisons, graphics comparisons, sorry, uh, sound comparison, uh, story, Lots of things, they are 11 topics, 11, so lots of things. Also, the next video will be about the Aerocool, will be. <laughs> the next video will be about the Aerocool Duke. So it's a review of this gaming chair, you can see in the corner. Um, it is a pretty damn good chair, uh, and I'll be doing a video of it tomorrow, releasing maybe in three days, I guess. Yeah, because I do all by myself, so it's not that easy. Thanks a lot, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video and see you in the next one.